What's up everybody, welcome to Audio Architects. My name is Mike. Today I'm gonna to be doing a headphone review on some Hi-Fi Man headphones. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. I am so excited today because I am actually shooting with my brand new camera. My Panasonic G9, Lumix G9, which I should do a review on my cameras eventually but I don't think it's too appropriate for this channel however who knows maybe I'll do like a photography channel someday soon so <laughs> I have been dying to shoot with this camera so bad so hopefully it's good quality hopefully you guys will I'll think it's really rad I have another camera going uh, uh, kind of you know showing off what I got going on over here so I'm gonna have a multi view situation here I'm excited I'm super excited so what am I going to get into today? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hi-Fi Man HE5SE headphones. So I did a review recently, which you could find right here, on the Ship 9500s, the Philips Ship 9500s, which I absolutely fell in love with. However, I'm, I'm kind of hooked. So I reached out to my friends at Hi-Fi Man and they're like, well, check these out, you know? So I'm stoked. Another thing, I recently did a one-on-one -on -one interview with the owner of Heart Audio Cables and I made my first purchase and I'm excited to see what is going on in here because I let them know that I not only have the Ship 9500s but I was also getting these. So these have adapters for both. So let's go ahead and get these, let's get these open first and see what's going on there and then we'll, we'll go from there. And thank you again, Heart Audio Cables, for doing that one-on-one -on -one with me. It was really much appreciated, and I'm stoked. Okay, so right off the bat, little Heart Audio sticker I got here, Heart Audio sticker. Next, we got a little thank you card from James, thanking everybody from uh, everyone at Heart Audio for buying uh, their stuff. Got the invoice, which is always nice. Okay, so let's get down to business. I chose the gray color, uh, I said uh, the gray color was rad. They have red and gray, or they have custom. You can actually get a custom pair of these cables made. Um, these, so, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so, oh cool, okay. So I got one for the Ship 9500, so that's gonna be for the ship. And I got one for the Hi-Fi Man, because apparently the Hi-Fi Man has a right and a left. Okay, cool. And I also got a couple of adapters. Um, I got a three and a half millimeter, I got the big one, and I got an XLR. So you guys, this is really cool because these look like quality cables. The build is nice. It has their logo on it. I mean, the nylon braiding is really cool. I'm digging these, you know? And the cool thing about having adapters is that let's say down the road, you uh, get a headphone amp or something like that. You got XLR ready to go. All it does, it plugs into the you know, little mini adapter on the end of the cable. <sighs> this is so cool. Another one with the three and a half. So no matter what you're plugging into, they have provided me with three different options, XLR, uh, the three and a half, and uh, the bigger version, um, which I always forget what it's called, I'm sorry. I don't know, whatever. So what I am kind of actually intrigued about is how long these are. These aren't long at all. Oh, this is so cool. Like I said, guys, build quality is super solid on these hard audio cables. I like it. <clears throat> and the price is reasonable, guys. The price is absolutely reasonable, especially for the, uh, like, the quality you're getting. And it ships super quick. I have no qualms right now with this. Um, so obviously we're gonna be plugging into three and a half. So all you do is you're going to go ahead and match this up. Oh, oh there's a little hole. Just push in the hole and then you're good to go. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's get into the Hi-Fi Man. Uh, all right, a uh, buddy of mine, Giles, he recently reviewed a pair of Hi-Fi Man. They're a little higher end than these ones. However, these ones I think fit a price point that I'm comfortable with. So I think most of my audience would be comfortable with. Um, not saying that most of you guys are probably richer than I am, but I, I think two, two, three hundred bucks is a good price for, for a pair of headphones. Of course, you can go crazier. You can go thousands of dollars and stuff like that. There's a pair of four thousand dollar hi fi mans out there. And I think that's cool, but, <clears throat> you know, for me, two, three hundred bucks, 
that's where it's at. All right, right off the bat, we got uh, a little booklet kind of showing you what's up. Most of it's in Chinese or Korean or, no, I think it's Chinese. Um, little warranty card, I'm guessing. If you guys can uh, translate that for me, that would be fan freaking tastic. Everything's in Chinese. Okay, so let's get down to brass tacks. Okay, let's get into it. So right off the bat, they included an actually really nice cable to go along with it, which I think is cool. It's awesome. Uh, it's not cheap feeling. It has a nice nylon braiding. Not as nice as uh, the hard audio cables, but at the same time, it does offer, um, you know, uh, a, a nice option. It's not cheap, you know, precious silica, always. Um, here we go. They're right here on top. So, wow, these things are huge. I mean, good Lord, they have, smells like leather, could be pleather. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Could be leather. I mean, I'll, I'll find out for you for sure if it's genuine leather, but uh, <laughs> it has leather on the on the outer rim. It has like a, a very soft like fabric on the inside and they are ginormous, you guys. This is insane. Let's see how it, okay, it just clips. Nothing too fancy. Just clip, 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 clip to adjust the size of the head. As you guys know, I have a huge head, so I'm gonna do like number two and see where we're at with this. Okay, on the bottom, you see the right and the left uh, for the three and a half millimeter plugs. But I mean, overall, these are pretty, these look really good, you guys. Like, how do they look? Wow. Okay, so they're not like noise canceling by any means. You can hear everything. Which one's right and left? Ah, inside here, left, right. My bad, all right. No, my head's too big. I need a little bit more, like one more, one more click, one more click should do it. And the build quality is actually really sturdy. This is all metal. This is all metal or, you know, heavy duty alloy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, this is a, uh, okay. That's comfy. It has a little strap right here to get y'all comfortable. I kind of like it. They're big though. I look like freaking princess Leia with her buns, dude. This is nuts. This is huge, but it covers the whole ear. Like my whole ear is inside there. Everything's good. Everything feels, it feels comfy. It feels like I could wear these for a minute, you know? That's all that comes inside the box. So super simple, nothing, nothing to it, I guess. So thank you again, uh, Hi-Fi Man, for the very nice cable. However, I am going to be using my buddy uh, James's uh, hard audio cables to connect all this. Um, I'm excited to go listen to it. So I'm gonna get everything ready, everything hooked up, and then give you some specs on the headphones, and then I'll let you know what I thought and how they sounded. Stay tuned. Hi-Fi Man's HE5SE full-size over-ear planar magnetic headphones are just one offering in an ocean of different options that are available by the company. These headphones offer an all-new hybrid headband, which is lighter and offers maximum comfort. The 3.5mm connectors are angled at 10 degrees to reduce pressure and ensure a long-lasting link between the headphones and the cable. The focus pad, as it's called, is proprietary to Hi-Fi Man. It's made from memory foam surrounded by a faux leather and soft velour outer layers, so it's confirmed not real leather. The drivers are planar magnetic. What is planar magnetic, you may ask? Well, the guys at How to Geek said this about the subject. To put it simply, planar magnetic headphones have a very even, precise sound, even without the aid of headphone amplifiers, though some people will still want to use them. A downside is that the design doesn't quite have the same oomph as a conventional dynamic driver, which can create bigger, wider sound favored by bass enthusiasts, which that includes me. They're also considerably heavier than standard designs. I filmed my review prior to reading this, but I am sure you'll find my findings match up fairly well to the description of the particular technology. Right, guys so what do I think of these hope you enjoyed my montage by the way 
Um, well, I think they sound fantastic. Um, they have about as the same amount of bass as the ships, which is just enough to give you, you know, something to really hold on to. However, the mids and highs are super warm and clean. Now, I gotta be honest, I'm going from uh, the headphones to the amp star to the iPhone. This needs to change. This, this situation here isn't working for me. So what I'd like for you guys to do, go down in the comments, let me know a nice, decent headphone amplifier that I can purchase under 500, not made of money here. So under 500 bucks and I will review it and I will test it and I will probably end up keeping it, obviously. But I need something. I need something to push these headphones than just this. I think these headphones can do a lot more with a better, not only a better source, but a, a better amplification. You know, I think a better amplification is exactly what these need to really shine. Right out of the box, hooked up to an iPhone, they sound fantastic. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave you guys with this. I'm going to leave you guys with the fact that these are actually solid headphones. They sound fantastic. Um, I, do they sound better than the ships? They sound different than the ships. The ships are uh, very, very good for what they are. These are probably three times the price, four times the price almost. So of course these are going to sound a little bit better. Would I trade my ships for these, vice versa? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep both. So I like both of them. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna keep both. Uh, the more headphones, the better. So I don't want to compare too much to the to the ships. I, I I think these stand on their own just fine without being compared to anything. Um, moving forward, I think that Hi-Fi Man is going to be a very viable option for me. I think these are, like I said, definitely quality, quality products. I like the build, guys. I really like the build. The metal accents, the just the just the aesthetic, man. It's really cool looking. The the you know the leather accents. It's very comfortable. It's not very hot on the ears. So you're not going to start sweating or anything. They are big though. They kind of, they're kind of funky, you know, like, like they're funky, like they're huge. However, I'm not trying to impress anybody. And if I really wanted to be all, all insecure about it, I'll just do pull something like this and be like, okay, we're good. Everything's, everything's, everything's fine now. You know, like everybody, everybody can calm down. So final thought for the Hi-Fi Man HE5SE is thumbs up. I liked it. I dig it. And I'm pretty particular when it comes to headphones, guys. I'm not going to, don't think everything I review I'm going to like because I'm not. So when I go to the store, when I go to Best Buy and I listen to all the headphones, obviously not recently because I don't want cooties. However, when I used to go and listen to headphones, a lot of the Sony stuff wasn't impressing me. A lot of the, you know, uh, Skull Candy stuff wasn't impressing me. You know, like it takes a certain over your headphone to really impress me. And so far between the Hi-Fi Mans and the ships, I this is where I'm at with, with headphones and where I like to be at. Um, and I think moving forward, I'm gonna explore more Hi-Fi Man. I'm gonna explore Sennheiser. I'm gonna explore, um, what's that one with the Grado? I'm gonna explore all these because I wanna know what they sound like and I wanna know how they feel. And I'm just gonna start a nasty hobby, really. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad because these things aren't cheap. Well, some are, some aren't. So I think the, for the next one, I'm gonna do some Fostex though. Fostex seems to be the bee's knees. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that and see what, what I can come up with. But yeah, I digress. Comments, let me know. Headphone amplifier, please, please, please. I need to get a good headphone amplifier to amplify these suckers. Let me know and I will shout out whoever's uh, comment I choose. So let me know about that. Oh, Patreon. Guys, please, Patreon. I have one patron. It's Giles. That is not cool. You know, thank you, Giles, for being my patron. But seriously, though, I need more patrons. I need some Patreon support, you guys. You guys get access to, you know, my private Discord, private groups, all sorts of stuff. You get to see once a month I'm going to be doing a panel with a bunch of industry professionals that only you guys will be invited to. So go on there in the description do it so thanks again guys if you like the content and it's your first time here definitely smash that like consider subscribing to the channel because with smaller channels like this it really means everything each subscription is very important so thank you for that and ring the bell to get notified every time i put out new content which is religiously on fridays 
and also look out for my hi-fi hour where I interview someone badass. So tune in for that, guys. Thanks again. Have a great week. We'll see you. I'm going to go back to listening this weekend.